Well, good morning. Hey, I'm Greg Korea of Harmonix, and today we have a special edition. Today we're going to visit and watch a world-renowned chef, Philippe Chevalier, do his magic. Come on in with me. Right now, I'm in the presence of one of the great chefs of the world, <laughs> Philippe Chevalier. Philippe, man, it's wonderful to be here today. How does it feel, man? It just... It's great. It, it feels great. great. The weather's great, family's great. Nice. Let me, what are you going to do today? What are you actually going to... How today we're going to do a little velouté soup, uh, tomatoes with uh, top and crust, perfect sweet crust. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're going to do a filet solvalesca, mm -hmm. stuffed with uh, uh, fish, white fish meat, and then lobster tel medallion with a uh, champagne so sauce. Mm -hmm. And then uh, galette des rois, which is a classic uh, dessert in France to celebrate the king of France you know, on the time. So Cheers, every year we... Uh, Definitely. Well, I know that you're, you're really busy. You're getting ready to get on your show and your demonstration. It's just a pleasure to be here, and uh, I hope to come back many, many times. This gentleman right here is truly, this chef is one of the world's greatest. Philippe Chevalier. Thank you very much. Today we're going to have a class again at Chevalier Restaurant. Welcome at Chevalier. We do have uh, uh, tomatoes of velouté soup on a crust for first week. We will have also uh, filets of valesca. Stuff with uh, lobster, medallion, and oh. champagne sauce. <laughs> and then galette des rois, famous galette des rois, of course, everybody knows now. And Chevalier, we do that every year. So we're going to start with uh, uh, tomato soup. So we have a pan in here. Let's put some butter. A nice piece of butter. And then we're going to put uh, our condiment, which is shallots and garlic that's very nicely slowly gently the garlic was whole also yeah yeah because after you you, you mix them okay. some fresh thyme there you go Basil, fresh basil, and then fresh tarragon, slice or so. Just right there. You turn a little bit. Mm. It smells good, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> we love your job too. We had some tomatoes in here. I cut the tomatoes in, in a little piece, in a quarter. You don't take the skins off? No. It's not necessary because we're going to uh, puree and then pass in a chinois. Ah. That's for the soup. Put some water covering. So some put water, some put... Uh, uh, stock, white stock, and then a little bit cream. And we cook that soup for at least uh, 35 40 minutes on the stove. All right, so the shallots and the, the garlic were not browned or anything, just no, just the butter. Yeah, it's your butter. So here we're going to do the almond cream for the galette des rois. So on the bowl we put uh, almond flour. Sugar. And butter, soft butter. Put that in the kitchen. We mix very nicely. 
nicely everything and then we add three eggs one by one one egg two egg and three egg. an ice cream we call that froshi pan very nice and mixed we stop this and then we're gonna add the pastry cream Mix everything. And then here we add the rum and then a little drop of uh, almond uh, essence extract. Not too much because we don't want the uh, I don't feel too strong. You know? mm -hmm. That's done. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make the pastry cream. For that, we need a pan like this. We're going to put the milk in here. Everybody follow me? Pastry cream, milk, vanilla bean. So we cut in half vanilla or one vanilla. We put the seed on a bowl and the skin we infuse in the milk. In a bowl we will add Six yolk egg, so we clarify the eggs, them in here. So, vanilla seed, yolk, eggs, sugar, we whisk everything, just like that. We blanch the yolk, eggs. And then we add the uh, flour. And we incorporate gently the flour to the sugar and yolk eggs and vanilla. Just like this. And then here, the milk's boiled. So we add the milk in here. We incorporate very nicely 
You don't burn ourselves. <laughs> Just like this. We put in back this little pod. And then we cooked the pastry cream on top of the stove to three, three minutes, approximately three minutes. We whisk until the cream becomes thick and nice and smooth and thick. If you have any question, of course, don't hesitate to ask me. What's the purpose of adding the hot milk to the bowl versus the bowl to the hot milk? Uh, because you want to do that out of the stove to not burn yourself. It's not dangerous. The milk is hot, it's very dangerous. You can burn very hardly. So it's the reason we made this process out of the stove and after we put it back in a pot to cook it with this cream. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. And here we have a nice consistency of pastry cream. See? So with this kind of cream we can do creme mousseline, we can do the souffle. Mm -hmm. That's the base of the souffle also. So that's finished. We keep on the side and you after when the cream pastry is cold, you do the almond cream. How long will that pastry cream hold up in the, how far in advance can you make that? Oh, you can make a pastry cream on the fridge after that for uh, five days, no problem. Mm. So here we're going to set up our uh, galette des rois. So we have uh, two circles of puff pastry, just like this, which I cut in the beginning. So here we're going to have Almond cream put on the middle of the pie, just like this. <coughs> nice almond, and then with the brush, which I have somewhere. That's uh, to stick both sides together, just like this. And then we put the top like you that. You scored the top with kind of a... Yeah, we, we put some water and then we, we just put that on top like this. And then we're going to seal them. And to seal them, I use a uh, old-fashioned kind of thing. That's the things I use to cut my uh, dough. So I do one more, one like this, you know, it's similar size. So I crush very nicely. Because when the tart is on oven, we don't want the cream goes out. And then also, I take the thing smaller to be right on the center and then to crush again. Just like this. Mm. Did you cut a design in the top? Yes, I do. Oh, the little yeah. swirl? Just mm -hmm. like this with knife. I will show you. Can you cut me a circle of puff pastry and I will show them how to do that. On top, we put a gouache. Put a gouache everywhere on top of the pie. Like 
like this. And then we put the pie in oven for uh, 35 to 40 minutes. So the first 15 minutes, we put the pie in oven at 375, 350 degrees, between 350 and 375, correction oven. And then after the first 15 minutes, we're gonna put on top simple syrup with the brush. So the simple syrup, it's uh, 100 gram sugar and 100 gram water. Understand? 100 gram sugar, 100 gram water. You boil it, and that's, that's called a syrup, simple syrup. Bake at 350 to 375 for how many minutes? 35, 40 minutes. But that's on free time. The first time is 15 minutes. You remove your pie from the oven. You put the syrup on top with a brush, like we do for the egg white. And then we put in back the pie in the oven for 10 more minutes. Follow me? Mm -hmm. And then we do that again. Remove the pie. Simple syrup again, put it back in the oven for 10 more minutes. So you do two applications of the yes, syrup? Yes, two applications of the syrup, yeah, definitely. To get a nice, crispy uh, color on top. Be right back, I'm going to put that in the oven now. Be back. California's agriculture and environment are under attack, and the damage is very real. The damage by invasive pests. Learn about stopping their attack at hungrypest.com. Of the galette there one after uh, it's cooked. That's that's a nice uh, gold color that's coming from the simple syrup. So yolk eggs, 15 minutes in oven, simple syrup, 10 minutes in oven, simple syrup, and 10 more minutes. <coughs> and I give you the simple syrup. Correction oven, yes. For the pastry, uh, is the best is the correction oven. The design I do on top of the puff pastry for the cake, also for the soup in here, like I will show you very soon, it's you take a knife and then you do a little design like this around like a sun uh, rayon, you know. I think you've done that before. Yeah. yeah, I do that before. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. Mm. So, we're going to go back to the soup now, and I will explain the processing to you guys. And also, again, don't, don't never worry to cut me and ask me a question. So, let's say the soup is cooked for. Uh, 35 minutes. We ground the soup in a in a in a kitchen in a robot cook or in a machine, you know, the first smoother, smoother. Oh, stick blender. Stick blender. And then after that we pass the soup in a chinois. The sieve. A sieve. You pass it through a yeah, sieve. The sieve. Thank you very much. You're I like that. The sieve. <laughs> Remember this in my mind. <laughs> So what we're gonna do for the, the soup now is here, you see, on the bowl, oh, with a little uh, piment d'espelette on top and then a uh, uh, fennel pollen. What I'm gonna do on the other side of my puff pastry like this, I'm gonna put some little bit water, a brush. That's gonna help to stick the puff pastry in the board of my bowl, tomatoes bowl. Do that like this very nicely. Oh. We seal everywhere. And then we brush with uh, egg wash on top of the puff pastry. And then Nick uh, has an oven for me. We're going to put that in the oven for 10 minutes at 375 degrees. The puff pastry is going to go up like a dome and a nice crispy gold color. It's beautiful. It's 
So you just had just the pureed soup inside, though? Yeah. No, you didn't put any condiment on top or anything? Yes, like I did. Uh, put piment de spelette and then uh, uh, fennel polet. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah. Piment de spelette. <laughs> piment de spelette. It's, a, it's a, a red chili coming from south of France. A little town coming es calling Espelette. And it's very famous in France, and then is why we give the name of this uh, chili Espelette, the same name of the town. Mm. It's, it's uh, special pet. So, here I have a little pot. We're gonna start the sauce for the champagne sauce for the lobster salad, uh, salt. We put shallots on the pot like this, chopped salad, shallots. I'm sorry. On the soup, was it cold when you put it in? Yes, because if it's hot, steam. the first three gonna steam and then go down, go down. So, it's why you put that in the oven for 10 minutes. It's enough to reheat the soup and have a nice crisp on top of the first three. So here we have the champagne, shallots. So we put the champagne in here. Pardon me? 335 or 375? 375. Okay. So shallots and champagne, we reduce both of the ingredients in here. The time that's reduced, we're gonna cook our lobster. So we have boiled water in here. We're gonna put in the water, fresh thyme, and then basil in the water, and then sea salt. A lot of sea salt in the water for the lobster. Don't worry. Usually the best way to cook the, the shellfish is to cook in the ocean water, but we don't want to go to our pocket. Was this a separate water. pot than the shallots? Shallot and champagne. Is that in a different pot than the thyme and the water? Oh yes, the, the thyme and the water is for cook the lobster. Oh, it's not all in the same pot? No, yeah. sweetheart. We cook the lobster. <laughs> it's okay. I love you. <laughs> we can't, so we can't see you get nobody pots back there. So let me repeat that. <laughs> okay. We have water, fresh thyme and basil and salt. That's to cook the water. We call that a court bouillon. Mm -hmm. Court bouillon. C-O-U-R-T mm -hmm. bouillon. Mm -hmm. And then here we have the ingredient for the sauce. It's champagne and shallots on it. We're going to reduce that and add the cream and the butter in the end. So here we have a lobster, fresh Maine lobster, just arrived from Maine. For the ocean. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> uh, she's wake up. See, she's moving. Champagne, shallot, are you reducing it to half? Yes. He wanted to make sure it's alive and healthy. Yeah, look, it's moving. See, want to say hi? <laughs> we put the lobster in the water. Just like that. She take a little bath. We just blanch the lobster. We don't want to cook the lobster too, too long because we're gonna recook the lobster tail in a salt and then we don't want that to be chewy. So we're just gonna blanch the lobster like maybe five minutes. During that time, I'm gonna do uh, my uh, filet, salt filet mousse. So I may have my filet salt over there and then uh, on a little square plate. Huh? Maybe I can have a uh, to drink, I'm thirsty. <laughs> so, here we have two very nice petrol filet, fresh. And then I use the side, the little one on the side, to do my, my stuffing. Mm -hmm. So we put on the kitchen, on the Robocoop the filet, salt. Put some salt, a bit salt. Little bit white pepper. Little bit nutmeg. like this and then we're gonna add a little bit white egg and 
and a little bit cream. Did you put all of the egg whites in there? Did you put all four egg whites in there to grind? No, because I do a little quantity for, for, for the demonstration, but usually it's what you do, yes. You follow the recipes in, the, in here. So usually you put your egg white for the quantity of the meat you need and the cream. Salt, pepper, and nutmeg. So if you had 10 tolets, how many would you how many would you leave out on the, and how many would you put in there? Uh, I will say six fillets, a little bit, and then you keep the, the big one the for four, the, yeah. Four of them yeah. to serve, and then would be four, 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 four servings yeah. or two servings? Uh, you can put two per person. Okay. Yeah. So here we have our fillet. We're going to put uh, our mousse on top. like this. And then we keep that on the side for a minute on the fridge at home. Oh. Here we're going to remove our lobster. Lobster is good. How long would you say you cook the lobster? I said five minutes. And then here we have the reduction almost in half, so we're gonna wait a little bit and after we're gonna add the cream and reduce again. So the lobster. Normally, I wait until it becomes cold. So we remove the cloves like this. We break, separate the tail and the head. We crunch the shell, and then we remove the shell. Just like that. It's hot. <laughs> and we have a nice lobster tail. We can always use the head for a nice little lobster bisque or lobster scully or something like that. So what we do when the lobster tail is cooked, we cook, cut little medallion. And then we put the medallion in the middle of the sole filet. And then we fold her like a wallet. How many would you say you put in? Pardon me? One medallion per sole. So we put the salt in a parchment paper and roller on a sheet pan. We dispose the salt on a sheet pan, salt paper, and in oven for five minutes max at 300 degrees 75 convection oven. Convection oven. And I'll be right back. Right now I have Philippe with me because he's taking a little break before he gets on and does his magic with food. Philippe, you are absolutely awesome. Merci, thank you very much. I appreciate it. How did you learn this? This, oh, this magnificent long gift story. that you have? Yeah, long story. I started at 14 years old mm -hmm. and I have now 46, so I, I cook for a while already. And then uh, I always have this passion for my grandmother, paternal, which, is, uh, she, which, which she was Cordon Bleu in France on her time. And then I always was behind her, take a look, curious, you know. And then 
I, I decided to do this job because I love my job. Oh, I could, I could tell. We could tell so much because you just enjoy it. You have fans in there and people that just are writing down the recipes. You are well loved out here, and we're going to just help you as much as we can. Thank you for, so much for letting our cameras come in and watch and work your magic. Very appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Thank you, brother. Merci.